These are some useful features and settings in Nothing Phone 2A, basically for all Nothing Phones. The first one is Clone Apps. You see this feature in almost all mobiles, but in this mobile, you can clone games too. Yes, games also. To enable this, open settings in mobile, then choose Apps. From here, select the Cloned Apps. Click on See Other Apps. Now you enable which app you want to be cloned. This is a good feature if you use two social media accounts. The next feature in our list is App Locker. Yes, you can lock the apps in Nothing Phone. Go to Settings, then choose Apps. Here, scroll down and select App Locker. First, you need to give your mobile password. After that, you select the apps that you want to lock. And also, you have an option to select when to lock the app. You can select either after screen lock or right after exiting the app. This is a great security for your personal information. The next feature is notification history. Sometimes we accidentally swipe the important notifications. After that, we don't see that, but not after this. Open settings in the mobile, then choose notifications. From here, select the notification history and turn it on. That's all. Now, whenever you get a new notification, it will be saved here. Definitely try it if in case you didn't. The next feature in our list is flash while notification. This one works like whenever you get a new notification, your mobile flashlight will blink. You already seen this feature in different mobiles, but not for notifications. To enable these open settings in your mobile, then select the notifications. Scroll down to the last, you find an option flash notifications. From here, you can select either camera flash or screen flash. This is handy if in case you keep your mobile in silent mode most of the time. The next feature is Glyph Light Customization. The one feature that is only available in Nothing Phones and not in other is the Glyph Lighting. You can customize the Glyph Light as you like. Open Settings in your mobile and choose Glyph Interface. From here, you can tweak a lot of changes. You can use the Timer or Flip to Glyph feature. Also, the glyph light changes according to the ringtone. You can compose your own ringtones as you like. Definitely try this option, it's totally worth. The next feature is related to battery health. With this feature, your mobile will be charged overnight steady to prevent the damage of battery health. But to enable this, open settings in your mobile and choose battery. From here, select the battery health. This feature is very useful if you charge your mobile overnight. The next two features are real-time internet speed meter and battery percentage indicator. To enable this, open settings in your mobile, then choose display option. Scroll down and select the status bar. From here, you can enable these two options. These are very good options. The internet speed meter is more useful than the battery percentage for me. The next feature is display colors customization. With this option, you can tweak display colors. For this, open settings in your mobile, scroll down and select display option. Here, scroll down and choose colors. You can customize the color, temperature and more. The next feature is HDR display. Open settings in your mobile, then choose display. Scroll down and enable the HDR display. The good thing of this option is it enables the peak brightness for HDR content. But the drawback is it consumes more battery. The next feature is customization. Android mobiles are best for its customization accessibility. Even in Nothing Phone also, you can do customization. To do this, open settings in your mobile, scroll down and select the customization. From here, you can change the colors, icon pack, layout, etc. This feature remember me old OnePlus mobiles running with Oxygen OS. The next feature is really helpful for those who use the mobile most of the time in darker environment. It's extra dim option. To enable this, open settings in your mobile, scroll down and choose the accessibility. Here, enable the extra dim option. It lowers the screen brightness than actual. The next option is experimental features. To try the features that are still not at release, you can use this. Open settings in your mobile, scroll down to the last and there you see an option experimental features. Select it and try the features if you are interested. The next feature is game mode. This mode helps to increase the gaming experience by eliminating the distractions. To enable this, go to settings, scroll down to the last and select system. After that, select the game mode. Choose the game list management and add or remove the game that you want in the list. The next feature is RAM Booster. This feature converts the internal storage into RAM. This feature is useful if in case the RAM in your mobile is not sufficient. 
To enable this, open settings in the mobile, scroll down to the last and select system. Here, select the RAM booster. Now, choose the amount of RAM you wanted. Right after selecting, you need to reboot your mobile. The next feature is widgets customization. You observe a lot of widgets in smartphones, but in nothing phone, there are more than that. In home screen, long press in any area and select the widgets. Apart from apps widgets, there are some nothing widgets too. Two widgets I personally like are number one is pedometer which calculates how many steps or distance you walked in a single day and the second one is recorder. Even you can record the calls without notification with this option. Definitely try it. The next feature is hide app icons. You can hide unwanted apps from the app drawer but there is no security is there. To enable this, long press on the home screen and select home settings. Here on the last select hide app icons. Choose the apps that you don't want to appear in the home screen. If in case you want to access those apps, open the app drawer and swipe from left to right like this to access the hide app icons. The next feature is long press for glyph or touch. This feature will be turned on from the notification panel. Open the notification panel and choose touch. If you want to change from touch to glyph, long press the touch now the glyph light will go if you want to again change from glyph light to torch long press once again if you want to turn it off tap once these are the some useful features in nothing phone comment below which is your favorite